why can't I jump her? Oh. Go. Yo, what's going on ladies and gents, it's your boy Stumpy, back with another YouTube video, and today we've got the settings and highlights combined into one video. So these are my uh, graphic settings and my controller settings, and then obviously we've got some uh, highlights plotted around here and there throughout the video. So if you do enjoy, then make sure you smash that like button if you want to see some more, and uh, let's just hop straight into the settings so uh, we can get back to the highlights as well. Alright, so starting off nice and simple, we've got the graphics. I play windowed full screened. Uh, you can use full screen to pull a couple more frames, however... I prefer tabbing in and out, it's just per personal preference, you know. So um, I do only play on 75Hz as well as my refresh rate, and also make sure that is also the same in your um, NVIDIA control panel. You don't want to have them unmatched and not actually use your monitor's maximum potential. So I do disable VSync as well, and uh, my low latency is disabled just so it has less GPU power used, and uh, I can you know try and run the game better. These by default are 100, 1080p and automatic as well. So going into my color blind, I do just have my colors as my favorite colors for my color and my party color. This is magenta and my party color is purple. My enemy color is orange because I feel like it stands out better in certain environments when trying to like look at an enemy, especially when you have like tiger team spotlight on your sniper or something. All right, so these should be nice and quick to go through. I play on 120 field of view with um, independent ADS field of view and my custom frame rate is capped at 85 because there's no point trying to pull 100 if my refresh rate is only on 75. So obviously there's no point trying to get extra frames if I don't need them. All right, so for the graphics, like the actual graphic settings now, I have everything at the lowest of lows. I'll scroll through this slowly. Everything is literally just as low as it can go or disabled. And um, I also don't have the option for the DLSS setting. So the DLSS option is something that allows you to change your in-game dedicated performance, which is something like uh, quality, ultra performance, performance, and like balanced, basically. And if you have a GTX graphics card, I have a GTX 1650 Super. You can't see this option in-game. Now, i done my research on this, and apparently only people with an RTX graphics card have access to this setting. So, you can change this outside of game in a config file, and if you would like me to make a second video which will help increase that performance and change that from quality to performance or turn it off, then make sure you let me know in the comments, because it is a big game changer as well. But this can only be done outside of the game. So just at the bottom here, I have my VRAM usage target at 90%. This is default, and like I said with my GTX 1650 Super, that is obviously my selected default graphics card. So with the DLSS option, like I said, the GTX is in the obviously in the name. That's why I can't access these options. So anyways, moving on to controller now. Okay, so starting off with the sensitivity, 1414 by 1.8, 1.8. I can't plan anything higher. My shot just goes out the window, so I try to keep it at quite you know quite a static sort of setting i never really change my sensitivity i just leave it at that so yeah my button layout is tactical it's been like that since black ops two days that will never change my aim response curve type is standard uh, my vibration is on because it helps me a lot with my awareness now you know just refrain from roasting me in the comments because i know so many people have so many things to say and roast about vibration so just leave me be it's just what i use okay and then coming down to the aim assist side of things now, I use precision as my aim assist target mode. And um, other than that, that's pretty much it with the rest of this, um, other than my dead zone, which is the biggest tip I have to show you guys, actually. So moving on to my favorite part and my most biggest tip in this video is the dead zone. The reason I have this on 80 with auto sprint toggled is because when you're trying to get your auto sprint off, when your dead zone is on 100, you have to push your analog stick in, as you can tell, all the way to 100 for your auto sprint to start, you know, activating. 
Now, by muscle memory, everyone who plays COD always pushes their analog stick into the max, so it doesn't matter if you still do this when you turn your dead zone down, because I do this anyways. But if you notice, when you have your dead zone on 75 or 80, when pushing in your analog stick, it only actually has to get to three quarters for your auto sprint to activate, so you toggle your auto sprint like a quarter of a way quicker than you would normally so like you literally cut like 25 percent of the time off and you can you know move places quicker you can get out of combat quicker i don't know i just find this really effective for me and i've you know told a couple of people about it and they've they've sort of like understood the idea and i'm where i'm coming from so as you have muscle memory and you push your analog stick up as you can see on the screen as it gets to three quarters way up you're already going to start running and this might help with stick drift because some people might then know they don't have to slam their analog stick up to the top maximum to try and be quick. Okay, so this is the last setting that I'm going to be showing you. And this is my prioritize interact under interact and reload behavior. And as you can see here, it says you may tap the button you use, which is for me X as I'm playing on Xbox controller. And you tap to reload and tap to interact. Now, if both are simultaneously available, tap to interact and hold to reload. Now, I like tap to interact because when I'm in a gunfight and I'm out of bullets, I just have to press X and I pick up a brand new weapon with a whole new clip in it. And there's more chances of me winning a gunfight if I press X than there is if I'm trying to sit there and hold X. So this also helps with your movement because you don't have to stand still or like try and time holding down X while you're running over a weapon. You can just literally tap X and you pick it up straight away. This also works with like destroying in-game things such as like trophy systems and field mics, etc. So I do find this really effective for me and I really do enjoy using this. So, okay guys, so we've finished off the settings now and we're gonna hop straight back into the highlights, but I'm intrigued to know if anyone does have a good impact in their gameplay when using these settings. So make sure you let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, it's been your boy Stumpy. I hope you have an amazing morning, day, evening, whatever it may be when watching this video. And I'm out, peace. All right, bro. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Go on, go on. Split quad head. Made that times two, baby. Split five on. Go on. Jesus Christ. What? The what? Oh. <laughs> it's called Dad. He's using a, using a sniper. I bodied the five on head, mate. Hit mark, uh... I just hit mark with a triple. Wait, was that a triple? <gasps> that was a triple! I oh, hit mark with a quad. Oh, they are. Yeah, I'm glad. Jesus. What? Yo, that was actually so crispy. I need to go watch the new site, the head trap, bro. Oh, oh shit, you're broken up. What? Oh, shit, no. Yes! No. Show me right now, you fight. He did. Nah, you're good. They're not even spawning in. Go, Fuck. go. Go! Oh! oh. <laughs> what? He, he, he's going on! Oh, oh my god. god. No. no oh way. my god, he just kept going. He just kept going. <laughs> That is the just... best clip I've ever hit in my Yo. life. Yo. What was it?